There are many different types of assessment, but there are two fundamentally different methods of uh, assessing students against their uh, competency standards. Now, the first one is criterion reference assessment. Now, this basically means that you have a set of criteria or standards to which you're, you're assessing the student themselves. So this is basically when you're assessing the student's skills or knowledge to that set of specified standards or criteria. The second one is norm referenced assessment. Now this is when you have a group of students or a group of learners who are going through a synchronistic program from beginning to end as in they're all going on the same learning journey together and you actually assess them at the beginning to ascertain that they're all in a similar space in terms of skills and knowledge and competence and you're then assessing their development and progress against one another. So this is useful for instance if you're assessing students progress and you see that generally speaking the majority of their their skills assessments knowledge assessments all cluster around a similar area but you may have one or two anomalies that really stand outside of that particular range that would be showing you that either some students are falling behind or one or two are really progressing ahead and perhaps need some slightly more advanced learning three other common types of assessment include ipsative summative and formative. Now let me explain what those mean. Now ipsative assessment is a method of assessment where you assess a student's progress from their own starting point, meaning that you know, for, for one person acquiring a set of skills, knowledge, behaviors, or, or anything, or competencies, um, can actually be significantly more challenging than it is for another person to, to acquire those particular skills or knowledge areas. Meaning that to assess them against the same criteria might actually be quite unfair. What it also, um, another place where this could also be used is, is in training that's more like personal development type training, your more intangible type learning outcomes, so your learning outcomes that can't be measured by a test or an assessment. For example, um, I've in the past run confidence and motivation type programs. You know, how do you assess that they work when those kinds of qualities are so difficult to measure? So one of the methods that we use in those kinds of scenarios is ipsative assessment. As an example, we'd ask the students at the beginning of the course to assess themselves against a list of, of statements or, uh, or, or sentences and to then assess themselves against those very same statements at the end of the course so that they can actually compare the progression that they've been on. Now to make it slightly more quantifiable, we'd simply say to them that against each one of those statements, they would measure themselves on a Likert scale, which means measuring themselves, for instance, one to five, one where they disagree and five where they really agree, which means you can actually get quantifiable numbers to compare against their beginning point to their end point. So that's a really great way of, of measuring a student's progress for more soft skills, more intangible outcomes. Um, or indeed for where you have students that are all at very, very different levels and it would be actually quite unfair and even detrimental to the learning progress to assess them against one another or against a set of criteria. We have formative assessment. Now formative assessment is, I like to re remember this by thinking of it as, it's how well a student's progress is forming. <laughs> so this is a type of assessment where you might do uh, more informal type tests along a learner's learning journey to see how well they're getting on, to see how much information and skills they're actually taking on board. It's about testing their progression more than anything. It helps you as the trainer or training institution know in which areas you need to go back and revise, refresh on, do more content or more learning on um, to really see what's working and what isn't working in your training delivery and what's being acquired and what isn't by your students. Now that can be formal record keeping, um, formative assessment. It can be completely informal. It could just be pop quizzes or discussions as you're going through your training program. So that formative assessment is, you know, how well are the skills and knowledge of your students forming along the way? Um, then we have summative assessment. And the way I like to remember this one is it's a summary of their skills. So this one's a lot more formal. This is the kind of assessment that you would do at the end of a module or at the end of a course to see whether or not somebody is actually competent or has gained or acquired the skills and knowledge 
from that training program. So they are just three other main types of assessment that you could be using in your training programs too.